Hi, we are Rose and Pauline, and we're going to talk about fake news. In Belgium, since the start of the COVID-19 crisis, the Poison Control Center has recorded an increase of 15% in the number of bleach-related incidents. Indeed, many people claim that drinking bleach or pure alcohol can heal the COVID-19. This type of false information is what we call misinformation or fake news. The danger when we are using statistics is that they must be correct. First of all, there are multiple ways to make mistakes when we are using them. You only have to use too little information, a badly formulated question or misunderstood terms, and those are just a few examples. Then, statistics can also be used as a way to manipulate people. We can make numbers say what we want to say if we don't give all the factors. And that is where the misinformation appears. That's why we should all be careful about the sources we use and make sure we consult official information. Those informations are verified by experts and provided by trusted people. Of course, there are solutions to face fake news. The most popular one is the education of internet users, whom 85% of the respondents of a survey in Europe think it's a good idea. In 2019, in the European Union, 84% of individuals use the internet at least weekly. The problem is that among all the pieces of information you can find there, many are wrong. In 2019, Europeans were asked where they had seen fake news. 60% of them answered they mostly saw some on Facebook. The worst is that during that survey, 40% of the people said that when confronted with fake news, they first believed it. As you can see, in a time where the internet is everywhere and allows us to share everything super fast, misinformation can be seen as a big issue. To avoid being tricked, be sure to always verify what you read and try to focus on official sources. 